with the Gateway Arch welcoming us in the background to look at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. A Labor Day matchup in store for you here between the Miami Marlins and the St. Louis Cardinals. These two should provide some big time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Who's the one to watch EK. Well we all know it. The man to watch Giancarlo Stanton. His on base percentage is over 400 the last 10 ball games. He's done an excellent job of finding ways to contribute getting on base and setting up the guys behind him for run scoring opportunities. Carlos Martinez will be on the mound for the series opener. Eric any thoughts. Well guys take a look at that whip. Around one three, which is pretty much the Steve Cook will get his first shot here, and he certainly had it working so far this season, up over 350 entering play. Not as huge for him, too. This is a contract year for him, so he'd love to take those great numbers straight to the negotiating table. Swing and a line drive. Ah, not the greatest at no bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. And Eric, as we take a look at the Cardinals entering play here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they've been in a real good groove lately, victorious in seven of their last nine. Yeah, all good things must come to an end. And that winning streak finally ended last time out. But I don't think that'll slow this bunch down at all. The way they're playing, they might just pick up right where they left off. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in and as you take a look at the splits there he's actually a better hitter against right handed pitching this season. And he lays off here a nice job it's ball four first and second now. Justin Bohr will stand in now 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. Well kind of more of the same for him guys. I mean you can see that he's not sporting the strongest batting average this year. Ah, uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. With that, a look at the batting order for the Marlins. E.K., any thoughts? You know, they're getting a lot of production. Marcelo Zuna gets his first try now, and he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Hot shot to third. Taken in by Carpenter, and the two-out threat will not come to pass. Riding into the box, Steve Cook. Him? He reached on a sense. single in his first try. Steve Cook. This is line to left. Rivers is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So they're held in check here this half. Carlos Martinez comes forward to swing the bat, but he may instead be asked to bunt. We'll see how they approach it here with one away. Yeah, and it's not automatic, but the usual thought right here is to stay out of the double play and get those two guys into scoring position. Cozart sets. 0-2 on its way. Bunt sign still on with two. What's this one down? Echeverria down. for one. Well, I guess you could say that this Second sacrifice was partially successful. Okay. He makes the third oh. baseman field it, so that's a plus. He gets one runner up to third, and that's a plus. But they do get the fielder's choice at second, so it won't be scored a sacrifice. So I guess that's a minus. Steve Cook digs in, and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fence. Yeah, a couple of ducks on the pond out there looking to make that trip home. This is a big two out AB right here, guys. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Gritchick racing back, still going back. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. So a three-run shot to left center. Number 26 for him on the season, as it's now a 7-3 game. Normally, you hope to get a bit of movement when you throw that two-seam fastball. 
But you can see there, this pitch winds up straight as a string. He just unloads on it there. Steve Cook will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at-bats of the game so far. A three-run shot back in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. Watch as a fastball right there for strike one. Well, you know, you hear it all the time because it's true. First pitch strikes are so important. It really changes the complexion of the at-bat. For now, pitcher, but the hitter as well. Especially when you've got a good hitter up there. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Grichik. Going back on it to the track. Gone. A fence scraper, but still good for three runs. So a three-run shot to left center, his second of the game, as they grab an 8-7 lead in this seesaw game. Well, they went to the bullpen to get that right-handed reliever, hoping that that would give them the right-on-right -right advantage. Well, guess again. He gets a pitch out over the plate, and he turns that thing right around. That was no cheapy either. Steve Cook will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, we take you back to inning number six. This was his second home run of the ball game, as he'll stand in here looking for number three. Into the windup and the pitch. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Comes oh, back dude. with a good change up there and it's quickly 0 and 2. Ah, uh, he's playing right into that big swing from a pitch before. Just throw something slow here and you'll probably have him one three ball, two feet out in the front. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth the inning. Right fielder. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, well, he really drove the ball well in this one. Winds up finishing with six RBIs. I'd say that's a pretty good day's work. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Harrow, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 10-9. Good night from St. Louis. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Miami Marlins, 10 runs, 12 hits, no errors.